Station 1 All Pro Exterior Services here again. Got a beautiful home here we're going to be cleaning today. It's really not that bad, but he gets an annual. And in fact, we're putting them on an annual. So, first thing we're going to do is going to be collecting our water to get that tank filled up. We're running down to 20 gallons, so we need to run to the bleach store after this. Uh, got like 15, 20 jobs on the, on the books, but trying to get caught up and this is a very busy neighborhood it's it's, it's a very nice neighborhood that that uh, is on a golf course so got some good opportunity in here and a lot of money so we, we uh again we're we're blessed to have this business man not complaining at all That's what it's about but i'll show you when we get this taped up let me get this hooked up and i'll be back with you shortly okay, here you go get the vinyl windows Let's do a house wash. Nice ass ticket. A look at the buddy. Oh, look at him. Haha. <laughs> you to get out the way, buddy. You're about to drink some bleach. Nice area. There's the golf course. Got a pond. Nice bread. Nice backyard. Very nice. Back here, I'm not using any chemical. On all this pergola, all this woodwork, no chemical at all. So. Yeah, we're gonna spray it down a little bit with just some water. We're gonna be using a nine gallon a minute because we we're not service cleaning here. We're just doing a house wash. He just wants to spruce it up, get the pollen off. Again, you don't see, you got a few things here and there, but not too, too much. All right, guys, let me get set up. I'm gonna pull some pressure washing hose, turn on my downstream box. Tony's on property protection, and we're going to get moving. All right, peace. Set up over here using a nine-gallon a minute. Man, that thing's flowing, dude. Like Niagara Falls. So we're just wetting the brick a little bit, wet my AC. That's what I do. Got a little wind today, too. It's starting to pick up. We're supposed to get some rain, so we're trying to beat the rain. And, of course, you see that Lexus here? We're gonna absolutely wet that and as soon as I'm done soaping I'm gonna rinse it so uh, yeah anyway we're gonna go ahead and get rolling catch up with you in a minute peace girls on the back side of this property just soaked a little bit again I'm using water here so I'm gonna keep this wet because this is very nice so we're just gonna uh, hit this with some a uh, little bit of volume not so much uh, pressure or chemical because if it's total customer, I don't want to take that chance and, and you know, rent any agree. He said, look, I get it. Don't do it. So, hitting up here with the M5 twist. No problems. Knocking it out and getting that volume. Again, that volume helps with the uh, any, any stubborn stains that don't want to come off. And, you know, a habit I got is over rinsing. I think that's a good habit to be honest with you. See now we're getting wind. Uh, over rinsing, but I don't think it's a bad habit. But I gotta remember I got this beast with me, so let me try to hit this side. Yeah, there you go. Just hit a little rinse on it and then uh rinse this off and we'll I try to work my way away from the trailer. And I'm going to end up on this side, so my hose reel, when I pull a hose reel, it's easy. All right, guys. Let me catch this. Put the David Shooter tip on. Peace. All right, got some soap coming here on the third side of the house. Just about wrapping it up. And, uh, yeah, we're doing good, man. A little, again, at nine gallons, flowing good, so we're getting good flow. Uh, we'll probably have to go get some bleach after this. Had another customer just call. You know, I, I wanted to throw this out there. Yesterday when I did that house, uh, for that that last house we did, that, that that big house, the brick house or whatever, you know, he said, man, I got to compliment you. And I said, wow, what's up? He said, first off, you did a fantastic job on my house. And he said, second off, you're the only guy that answered the phone. He says, I called three other people, and none of them has still yet to get back to me. And I'm like, man, that's what it's about. So I highly recommend that if you get a call, you may think it's spam, 
and I get it because I get spam all day every day but take the call I was on a ladder the other day doing those gutters and you know what the phone rang and I said I'm gonna take the call in fact when I was with that customer going over some other uh, stuff I said I gotta take a call I got another call I said I gotta take the call he said no I mean I could appreciate that because people don't pick up the phone so is that a wasp nest in the corner no so anyway a little word to the wise pick up that phone man it's business that's money get the money get the money all right guys we're gonna go ahead and do this i'm gonna hit that peak too right away look at that hitting that peak man <laughs> things a beast uh so yeah we're gonna go ahead and finish this up real quick and uh probably go get something to eat i'm getting a little hungry and uh wrap it up all right catch up with you in a second peace all right guys here maybe an hour finished so we're good machine done well too many hours is on this thing 30 hours already jeez and beads anyway so we're gonna undo hoses pull up roll on to the next one came out nice i'm gonna take my after picks too i'm gonna do that in about two seconds as soon as i roll up i'm gonna dump some water as well so all right catch up with you in the next job peace Another one we're gonna knock out today. Got these nice high dormers. And then the vinyl, so I'm not doing the brick. I'm gonna just catch this, it looks nasty in the front, but I'm not doing the brick, I'm gonna spray the vinyl on the windows, I'm gonna do the flat work. Nice little ticket, so. And then of course over here. So, uh, Tony's gonna get the surface cleaner ready. We're gonna hook up with some water. We got a good bit, so we're gonna hook up the water, get rolling, and I'm gonna use this thing to wash the house first instead of the four it's just way more efficient all right guys let me get set up and we'll catch up on the rebound all right we got good water flow i'm gonna go ahead and get cranking while tony's doing the property protection try to knock this one out it's friday i think after this we're gonna be calling the wraps we got a bunch of other stuff on the books but in fact i got a call for a 53 condo 53 unit condo job by the homeowner association that i have to go look at so anyway let's see how this thing cranks up this thing's a beast let's see oh yeah let that fuel injection kick in oh yeah oh man music to my ears come over here always again always crank it open uh, I mean crank the engine with the ball valve open and then uh, Turn it off with the ball valve open All right guys, let me get set up. I'm gonna hit this front real quick I'm gonna probably work that side And I want to finish on this side because this is where my hose is pulling in so it makes sense for me to finish on this side So I can pull my hose in quick All right, let me catch up. All right, everyone we were about to shoot soap on our last side and got the bypass turned off so we're going to spray a window and notice this is uh the hot side so i went ahead and cooled it down right away so we got soap so again we're just doing the, the vinyl the windows and the uh that wind's picking up any uh, flat work which is okay with me I mean sometimes you got to charge just as much for a house wash as, as you would uh, a partial you know part of the process I mean you hear you got to break out the chemicals I tried to get the customer to understand that but he's like nah he's gonna do some work to it so all right whatever whatever you want man I'm here for you brother That's what we do so, uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of guys ask about that unloader. I, I posted it. It's in my build video. It's the uh, GP ZK1. And uh, I'm going to hit right here, too. I can't, I can't leave that. That would be a disgrace. Uh, it's a ZK1. They got two options, a uh, half-inch uh, half outlet or three-eighths outlet. I got the three-eighths outlet because I'm not running any half-inch hose, so... 
Uh, that's the one I got. Anyway, got this side soaped. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my soap on, off, I'm sorry. My remote on my gun, battery's dead, so I had to pull out the backup. Hit soap off. I always hit it twice just to have it. And then I'll, you know, hit some of that heavy stuff again. Get that, get that bleach out the system. Using the M5 twist. And, and with that flow, like I said before, that M5 twist helps get that, I'll show you in a minute. Let me rinse this off. So hitting them high peaks, no problem. And the flow on this thing is just amazing, man. Like I said, that helps get that dirt off. Yeah, look at that. It's crazy, man. You, you, you're spraying bleach and, you know, there's, a, there's some science to it and some math and some other stuff, but it's not too bad. So yeah, we're going to be, uh, I think I'm cutting it short after this. Just got too much to do, book work, business book work, and everything else. So anyway, let me finish rinsing and I'll show you how it works on that black stuff on that uh, brick. All right, peace. That little area that's black, watch this. This is just the M5 twist on the nine gallon. Look at that, coming right off. Again, this is something extra I do. I'm here. Don't have to change a bunch of J-Rod nozzles, which I hate. And uh, look how much better that looks. And I'm gonna get behind here right away. So let me catch this real quick and we'll catch up on the surface planing. Right, all right, all right. Almost done. Got all the walkway. I did a post, a pre-treat downstream, like I did here. And then a post-treat downstream. The house came out nice. They got some runners on the, on the eve. I hit them three times, so I hit them one more time before I go, but this is kind of how it's looking. Let me get some hose on. Got to be that hose management guy today. I want to let Tony earn some of that money he's making. Got Anthony on the uh, surface cleaner doing the circle motion. Looking good. This is kind of what we did already. All bright and white. Nice with the post street on the downstream. Get it all the way to here. Well, to that line right there. We still got to catch that last section. We had to relocate because the the, pe the family here just left a little mini vacation, so we had to move. But we're gonna get it done now. All right, guys. Catch up with you in a minute. We're almost on a wrap up. It is uh four o'clock. Jeez. All right, peace. Well, we got it done. We just I'm just putting a little uh. A little post street, a little downstream. That's all we need. A little something, something to help it out. Give it some, uh, help kill that organic in the concrete. I really hate breaking out the softwares personally. That's just me, though. And I don't use an X yet. I don't even own one. I don't want to own one because I ain't carrying a bucket. Yeah, we we golden. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Alright guys, we're gonna rinse out the injector. And what I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna turn this to water. Because again, one side goes to the bleach tank, the other side goes to the H2O tank. We already stopped the water. So I'm gonna just go ahead and leave the valve on. Just spray it till the soap comes uh, clean, water comes through, and then is what I do is I cycle it. It's very important that you cycle it on a rinse. So when you're rinsing it, cycle it. Open and close the ball valve on a remote. So that's what we do. All right, guys. I'll do a wrap up soon. Put it up. Got the trailer disconnected from the truck. Just cleaned everything out. Washed everything down with water. Doing our final, uh, we're gonna cover our machine. Supposed to get a lot of rain tonight, so 
We still got some heat on the muffler. We're gonna wait on that for a little bit. But yeah, everything's good. Everything's working great. Everything's working real great. Only used probably, I don't know, three gallons of bleach. Went and filled up some fresh SH. They just got the SH yesterday, so it was fresh. All right, please like, sub, call, comment. Peace.